what a steal. Pick a shirt, pick a pair of pants, pick an accessory, and we're good to go. Not so sure about this color. It's a little too petite, if you know what I mean. Well, hey friends, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today while I give my closet a bit of a clean out and start putting together my fall capsule wardrobe. Not quite ready to go all in and really set in stone what's going to be in my capsule wardrobe, but this is sort of like the process before the process. I thought I would bring you in on this. I'm gonna get a bit chatty, do some thinking out loud. I actually thrifted some items, uh, did some online shopping and brought in a couple of new pieces for the new season. I have a seasonal bin that I need to bring down because the weather is starting to shift around here and there are some pieces that I've been missing. Maybe I'll try on some stuff for you guys. I've got my mirror out here, give you maybe some outfit ideas. I'm not a fashionista. And honestly, shopping for clothing uh, really stresses. <laughs> it stresses me out, especially if it's in store. <gasps> but I like to look cute just as much as the next person and I know many of you guys do too So hop on board the hot mess express half of my clothing right now is actually still dirty And I'm washing it and hopefully it will be done by the end of this video We just got back from camping. So my closet is an absolute mess Let's pop in here and see what we're working with. This is so far the clean laundry that has come through Some of it was actually waiting for me here um, That I washed and didn't put away and then we left on our trip. I'm gonna pull this out of here and get it onto my bed, work through it a little bit. Um, the rest of the closet is just, you know, it's a bit helter-skelter. We have empty hangers from stuff that needs to be rehung and put up there. Um, so let's get this process started. We'll bring this out too. Thread up box, I did a little bit of thrifting on that site. That's for a bit later. I'm just gonna sort stuff into sort of its general category. I have a good mix of stuff that is summertime that I'm not going to be wearing anymore. And then there's some stuff here that I do anticipate bringing into the, the new season. So let's sort this out. While I'm doing that, I thought I would have a chat with you guys about the 333 method. I had lots of questions about it. Like, oh, I thought that was a spider. It's a hairball. So the 333 method, I had heard about it about a decade ago and decided that it was time for me to try it because I've heard such great things. And I've had questions from you guys like, hey, how is it going? Has it worked for you? Or many of you have actually said, I started doing the 330 method after I saw your video and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, the freedom in my wardrobe. And that honestly is my sentiment. It basically made it so that Whenever I walked into my closet to pick out an outfit for any given day, I was pretty much guaranteed that I would have something that I could put together. I could actually put outfits together in the dark, which is actually what happens a lot of the time when I've got like an early morning at church when I'm on the worship team. Pick a shirt, pick a pair of pants, pick an accessory, and we're good to go. And that has been my experience. Also, the whole laundry thing has been so much more straightforward which is typical for any sort of capsule wardrobe. If you guys don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, I realize that maybe some of you don't. Um, it's just basically a simplified wardrobe where stuff is like mix and matchable. You have a number of pieces for a specific season and that's what the 333 method does. Three months of 33 pieces. I actually ended up with 28 pieces just because for the summertime, things are super simple and I don't really care as much. I'm out in the garden mucking around. We're going down to the beach. It doesn't really matter what I'm wearing. These are not mine. But I thought it was a good season to start because um, it's already so simple that I was just, I felt like I would set myself up for success. And I, I do think that I did. Okay, here's actually a new piece of clothing. Let's pause from the 333 conversation. Caught these little, they're like a linen type jumpsuit sort of overall thing. I thought they would be so cute, but I think my rear, just like the shape, it's something's not working for me. Remind me to try this on for you guys and I'll get your opinion on it. I'm going through some of these more summery items. I picked up a couple of these uh, tank tops. They're the Lux Old Navy tank tops. Did not work for me. Tank tops are a little bit weird with like my 
sh top of my shoulder to bottom of my boob ratio. And everyone clicks away. This this chick is weird. They were ill-fitting. Let's just put it that way. And I do not see myself wearing them next year. I think I heard my dryer finish, so I'm going to pop in there. Oh, be dick. I think um, heading into the fall time because I really do like my layers, especially with our climate being quite cool in the morning. We can literally have frost on the ground in the morning and be up almost to the 70s in the afternoon. And so being able to layer up and unlayer throughout the day is helpful, which probably means I'll have a couple more pieces than 33. That's my prediction right now, but we shall see how it all turns out, especially with a couple of the new pieces that I got and some things that are just not going to work for me. I still have to get that seasonal bin down. In fact, that's probably what I should do right now. And I will go to fetch the water The day that I am grown Okay, I'm gonna step back here and show you that I have several piles going. Let me show you what's in each of them. Um, this is like my easy no pile from summer stuff that I am not wanting to bring into summer next year. <clears throat> my toes have been a little bit chilly in the morning here, so I got some of my bigger socks out. Um, and then on the bed, I have some of the things that I grabbed from my seasonal tote that I would like to bring in now for early fall this Forever 21 sweater that I've had for forever. And then I have my Seahawks jersey. The season's starting back up. Wish us luck. The other day I was actually looking for my Old Navy Lux V-neck uh, long sleeve shirt and I remembered, oh, it's up in my tote. It's probably time to start going through that. Along with my alpaca quarter zip um, little sweaters that I have from Quince, which I actually have a couple of new things from Quince that I will show you in my little haul. I needed my lighter jacket, not quite ready to bring the big uh, feather parka out, so that will be later on in the winter. Um, and I needed my Patagonia vest. I was wanting this the other night when we went on a walk and it was a bit chilly and I just wanted a quick layer to throw on. So that's out now. Um, that's what's in that pile. I have a few maybes here on the bed that I'm going to try on and see. This pile right here is stuff that I was wearing throughout the summer that I would also like to bring in to the autumn possibly. So there's that. We have the rest of what is in the seasonal tote, including some Christmas specific items, which I'm actually considering making a separate little box or tote or something for those because they're kind of a category in its own. And then I have, in addition to extra camera batteries, um, some of the uh, summer stuff that I want to put into the seasonal tote that I do anticipate wearing next year. There's like four or five pieces there. Okay, let's move on to these maybe items, which are only maybes because they're new to me. Um, some of this is thrifted, some of this is actually new. Let's start with ThreadUp. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I thrifted from there. I was specifically looking for my favorite linen Old Navy pants, which is actually what I'm wearing today. These I've had for years now, the Old Navy linen pants from last year, the year before, or even three years ago um, are so much better than the new version that they came out with this year. Um, the waistband is different this year. There's this uncomfortable seam that they put in the front. And so I've been on the lookout because these are my favorite pants. They work for so many different seasons. Uh, they're very forgiving with this waistband band. You can tie it or you can loosen it up for those bloaty days, which is a day that I'm having <laughs> today if I'm being honest. And so at ThreadUp, I thrifted a couple more pairs. I was able to find like the older version of the linen pants from Old Navy. Um, I'm not so sure about this color. This it's a little bit brighter than I typically go, so I don't know about that. Um, I did order a pair of these deeper maroon color, and these are actually um, 
These are brand new with tax, so that's pretty cool. I also picked up this little denim vest. I used to have one of these years ago, but that one doesn't fit me anymore. I, I decluttered that out a long time ago, but I picked this one up from ThreadUp. It's a Madewell brand. Um, so that might be an option for me. I don't think this is going to be an option though. I picked up this. This is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. And online, it didn't look as puffy. <laughs> this, I, this seems really, real fluffy. Maybe I should start trying this stuff on. Okay, I just put that long sleeve um, Lux Old Navy shirt on. <laughs> yeah, no. No, it's a pass. That's, no, no. Got the denim one, which I typically would wear this with like a jersey dress just to sort of break up the, the line of it. But honestly, I mean, it's cute. I could wear it in this outfit too, or put on the maroon um, little linen pants. I think that's pretty cute. I think this vest is the keeper, the furry one, not so much. This color though, let me put this on. Okay. Um, I don't know, not bad. Maybe I'll just pop these into the seasonal bin and give myself an option for the spring or the summertime. They're just a little bright. I'm not, I like more muted tones, especially in the fall and the winter, but they're my old navy linen pants. They fit like the other ones do. And I know that maroon and that black pair are the same. So I'm not gonna try those on. Is it time now to try on this jumper thing? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I'm already laughing. I don't think this works. I love the color. I love the material. I mean, I don't even have the straps on yet and it's already like, what is this? Well, my friend Molly has these and they're so cute on her, but she's like at least six inches taller than I am. And I'm looking in the mirror, but I'm also looking on the camera and it's way cuter on camera than it is in real life because you're at a good angle. Let me show you what it looks like in the mirror. Maybe it also looks bad on camera, I don't know. These are just like they, can you see like they like stretch along the like meaty part of the front of my thigh and they like, yeah, I just don't think the proportions are right for me. The crotch is like really low but then there's all of like this material. It's just, it's just not right for me. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of things that I ordered from Quince. Um, these, speaking of linen, I tried their linen pants, was not a good fit. Um, they were just too wide in the leg. They, they weren't um, fitted enough for me. But I did pick up their sleeveless swing dress, which I'm hoping this will be something that will be a good like season to season thing that I can just layer up. Um, let's try the black one on. Okay, this is cute. I, I didn't know what to expect with this one, but I had some referral credits on quimps because you guys have shopped <laughs> through my referral link. So thank you very much for helping me find some fun stuff. This is really cute. So it's kind of halfway for me on my body between like fitted and a bit more like a shift dress. It's like halfway in between those two types of fits. It hits a nice spot on my leg. I could, let's see, throw, a cardigan over this like so and there is a cute outfit for church let me show you in the mirror it's getting darker earlier I had to switch where my mirror was to get more light in here for you guys but I could wear sandals in the summer um, I could even wear nylons with nicer shoes in um, depending on the occasion but I think this is really cute and I got it also in this color which is definitely more appropriate for like spring and summer pretty sort of mother of pearl button detail this pleating is just lovely i love this so much and it's a nice it's a nice weight to the material sometimes linen can feel really light and scratchy and i've tried linen things that feel super like dense and heavy and this strikes a nice balance Okay, happy with this. 
I got one more thing at Quince, um, and it is something that I actually already have. I just got a different color, and it's actually something that I pulled out of my seasonal tote. I love their a washable silk line. That is my favorite line at Quince. And I have this, it's a midi length skirt. It has a nice stretchy waistband, um, and it has a cute cut on it that just gives it a little bit of interest on the hem. And I have been enjoying their military olive color in their washable silk short sleeve button front collared shirt. And so I got the same color in their skirt. Let me find a shirt really quick and I'll pop this on. Oh, cute. Okay. I love this. I think this is so cute. It fits me the same as the black one that I have. I'm actually wearing the washable silk v-neck tank that they have just to, to give it something to pair with. But this material, I mean, it needs to be steamed a little bit and it's actually super easy to care for. And I don't have the correct under layers. I'd probably wear a pair of like compression tap pants underneath this, but it is just such such beautiful material and it's washable which is the best part um, you could have this for a nicer occasion date night holiday party or you could dress it down um, i could wear this with a denim jacket or like an oversized chunky sweater and some boots underneath this is pretty i might even like it more than the black one that i have although that is definitely a staple as well well look at you aren't you so cute <laughs> Kids are home now. I changed into my mom uniform. This denim little chambray shirt is also from Quince. I've shared this before. Got that with my um, washable stretch silk tank. And this is the sort of outfit that I am putting together on a daily basis. Um, so right now, I'm losing the light. Kids are home, Weston's home. We're gonna do dinner and all of that. I'm gonna set this stuff aside so I can actually sleep in my bed tonight, but I'll pick you guys back up tomorrow. And we're gonna get stuff in the closet. We're gonna do a little bit of organizing, more decision making, hopefully wrap this up with some really solid choices that I'll be able to pick from when I am putting together my fall capsule wardrobe. Hello, we are back. Um, and I've actually been working a little bit off camera here in my closet. You didn't miss much. I'm just kind of hemming and hawing <laughs> over a few things, as you do. Current thing that I'm kind of going back and forth on right now is my blazer situation. I do have this one from Loft that I got a couple of years ago. Um, but it might be a little too small for me, like in the shoulders. Let me try it on. To do that, I'm going to put my washable silk um white button-up shirt i'm wearing a black bra <laughs> underneath though it's too tight in the arms like if i bring my arms <laughs> forward but the sleeve length is really good for me it's a petite um from what did i say was this from loft so it's a two petite i could probably do like a four or a six petite so I'm going to hold on to it for right now, um, just in case I actually really need it in a pinch before I get the one that would be the correct size for me. So I'm going to change back into my little sweater, start hanging some stuff up onto my uh, hangers and get some stuff into my drawers. I'll play some music for you guys. I know it's been quite the chatty video up until this point, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate having someone to chat with and talk to and like be able to express my thoughts out loud as I'm navigating my wardrobe. So thank you very much for being here. Um, let's change. Well, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring. We'll take you along, take you along, take you along to some other places. We try towards the other horizon, maybe to spend a couple hundred till we run out, till we run out, till we run out of paper and change. So tell me. I'm starting to think so recklessly I may just write a letter home to say goodbye to everyone and go
you are right now on my shoe shelf, which by the way, the whole shoe arrangement situation that I did in the summer uh, closet clean out has been working so much better. But I need to go through my shoes now that I've made a new uh, shoe discovery. So these, I shared these on my Instagram. They are amazing. This is the Passion brand uh, footwear and they have interchangeable heels. It's seriously genius. So there's like this little button on the bottom and you press it and slide it and then you can remove the heel. Or you can change it out to have like a low heel. I have a more stiletto style heel. And so I invested in two pairs of these, the black and then also the nude and then coordinating heels to switch out with those two pairs. Definitely an investment piece. This brand, this system is something that I have been eyeing for a couple of years now and I finally bit the bullet, but I have a few pairs of heels that I've had over the years trying to make this sort of collection. So I like have these Sam Edelman ones and I have these uh, INC ones from Macy's. But then I also have these shorter ones when a taller heel isn't appropriate and they just take up so much space. I have kept it simple, but this simplifies it even more. I have worn both pairs to several occasions and events, both fancy, so like the higher heels as well as more casual. I'm just sort of like sandal style and I am so far quite impressed and happy with them and I, I wanted to hold off decluttering out like the other shoes that I have in my collection um just so that I would make sure that these actually hold up and are are worth the price tag if you're able to make the investment I say they are totally worth the price tag I could have paid for these a couple of times over with how many different pairs of shoes that I've bought over the years it's really a genius system so I'm able to get rid of one two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes with these two pairs of shoes. I don't really count fancy shoes in my capsule wardrobe count because I'm not making weekly outfits with those things, but I did want to show that to you just because it's been such an amazing discovery. I know some of you were waiting for me <laughs> to report back on them um, after I use them for a little bit. So I'm just making a little basket here below my shoe shelf that will house my fancier shoes. And then the shelf that you're sitting on is going to be for my like more capsule wardrobe shoes. So this is where I landed. I just off camera did a little bit of decluttering um, just to spare you. <laughs> <laughs> the hemming and hawing in the details. Um, so I have a pair of nude Rothy's pointed toe washable flats, the black pair. I have this pair of uh, velvet birdies slip-ons. I have my um, leather Vagabond brand Chelsea boots that I wear all the time. And then a couple of pairs of sneakers down here. This is that basket for the passion um, dressy shoes. And then right here I have a couple of summer shoes that I only wear in the summer so these are going to be going into the seasonal bin and then here is the pile of stuff that I'm decluttering out these Birkenstocks have seen better days and I just wear my other pair more often these Birkenstocks I literally did not wear once during the summer I wore these ones instead so these can go heels that can be replaced with the new heels that I got and then these Rothy's ones which are the same pair of as these I hardly ever reach for these which I'm actually going to offer them to my mom because I bought her a pair of the light ones and I know she loves them and wears them all the time so I'll see if she'd like these too okay I've got stuff hung up and stuff in the drawers right now. The uh, collection is looking a little bit beefier just because it is that awkward in between as far as weather goes. And there are a few pieces that I don't know about yet that I'm kind of testing out over the next, I would say few weeks, month or so. Feels good to get those shoes under control. The donate pile is growing. The uh, seasonal bin pile is growing, but here's, here's what we're gonna wrap it up with. I need to, further organize my seasonal bin rather than have everything in one big bin. I think I'm going to split it up into two smaller bins. One bin will be for cold weather stuff, so fall and winter things. And the other bin will be for 
warmer weather stuff, spring and summer. And even though one of these bins at any given time will be quite empty, I do have the room in my closet to have both. And I think it's going to help me, especially at the beginning of a season, not feel overwhelmed with having to like go through everything. I also got clear bins to motivate me to keep them tidy, to keep a reasonable amount of clothing in them. I'm gonna take a few minutes here to sort into these bins, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. what the number of clothing is, cold weather clothing is always gonna take up more space than warm weather clothing. It's chunkier, it's bigger, it's heavier, it's fluffier. So I got this taller, deeper tote for the winter stuff, taking into account the cold weather clothing that I've already put into my wardrobe. I feel like I'm half and half right now. I have half of my cold weather clothing out, half of my summer clothing out, and the other half is now in the totes. All that's left is to gather up that donation pile, which actually I let my mom and sisters go through um, any of my donations before I actually take them to a thrift store or whatever, because there's perfectly good stuff. We're all kind of similar sizes. My mom calls them hand-me-ups. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Um, I wanted to just share with you quickly before I say goodbye my wish list. So this is the stuff that I jotted down while I was going through everything, gaps in my wardrobe, things that I would like to sort of piece in and then shop really intentionally for. So the first thing on my list I've actually already found, I went onto Poshmark and I just typed in loft petites tan blazer and I literally found the exact blazer that I showed you guys, like down to the detail of the button on the sleeves. I found it in a size six petite. And look at this, original price is $130. I didn't pay that for my blazer. It was on sale when I bought it. Listed right now on Poshmark for $24. I offered 20, I'm waiting to hear back, but I would pay $24 for it. What, what a steal. And I know that's going to fit me better than, um, the too petite. It's a little too petite, if you know what I mean. So already found that one. The next thing on my list is a plaid button-down shirt. I used to have a Rails plaid one that I thrifted a while ago, but that doesn't fit me anymore. I decluttered that a couple years ago, but I'd like to get something like that uh, on my list. This is oddly specific. Jeans that don't kill me. Jeans are the worst when it comes to my chronic abdominal migraines. In fact, waistbands in general really trigger them to, to start it's awful. But I love the look of jeans. Like they're so classic. So I'm on the lookout for some like softer waistband jeans. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, and then like on this list is stretchy waistband pants that aren't just leggings or yoga pants. Like I want them to look structured and cute, kind of like the linen pants from Old Navy, but I'm always on the lookout for options. And then something that's also been on my list, actually for about a year now, I've kind of just been searching around for some brown leather slip-on mules, loafers, kind of that grandpa look. I don't have a pair of brown shoes. And so I think that that is something that could complete my collection that I have going on here. But that is everything that I have to share with you in this video. There's my little wish list, some chatty decluttering and organizing and going through my collection right now in this sort of half summer, half fall situation that I always find myself in this time of the year. I will probably be able to convert fully over to like my cold weather clothing, probably by October, mid-October around there. We shall see and I will be sharing that with you guys. I'm going to do a closet clean out and really pick my capsule wardrobe and so if you want to not miss that make sure you're subscribed with the bell button turned on to all notifications. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I worked on this project. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thanks for spending a little part of it here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later. Love, there'll be rain, and there'll